That's it. Just a little. Every fish that I cook, fastball, curveball, change up, slider, cutter, they're all white. So if they're white, you don't know what's common. Basic cutter, four seam. I'm going to change the shape of my brain to a football. That's why I said footballs are cutters. That means the point of this is how I'm going to leave it. So at release, I'm pointing it there, and I'm just going across my body. The spiral will pull it right to left. You ready? Can everybody see? That's it. Just a little. Does that make sense? Now, the more pressure I hold on to it, and the faster I snap at my wrist, what happens? What? Curveball? No. Still cut it. But pressure. And then the faster that snaps it. What do you think happens? Cuts no. It actually cuts less. Yes. It cuts faster than the hip. Your hand should be on the side of the baseball. Make that arm blurry. Throw it in my glove. That was Better. a beautiful cut. Well, yeah. You see it? Think about it. Like, how many did you throw in your life before this? Zero? Zero. So your first six cutters, you kind of like sprayed it, and as you get better at it, it's almost easier than a breaking ball to throw for a strike, right? Yeah. You opened your hand when you threw it. Do you understand? You don't open your hand, you spin it like a free throw. The wrist has to spin the ball. I cannot open my hand, it'll fade that way. Down. Yeah, there you go. It could go further though, dude. Yep. Okay. Come on. See, I went boom. Yeah. Right? Bang. Can I call you Rose? Toes face in this direction, okay? Toes face the line. Hinge into the back hip again. Boom. Feet stay anchored. Stay to the inside. Okay, last one. Then we're going to break in stations. Hinge. Inside throw. Okay? We've got. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So we're going to break into four groups. We're going to go one group in here. You guys are going to hit that direction. we got one group hitting that direction in the back of the cage. We've got a T-station here, and we've got a T-station right here. Okay? Let's grab our bats. I'm sure you guys have heard from the first time you played baseball. I want you to stay inside the baseball. If your barrel gets anywhere towards the outer half here, you're going to snap up this. It's a really fun one to do on the field when you just literally put the tee like right there. And it's like, hey, can I keep it fair? And can I hit with backspin and not that duck on our top and work on connection? So let's do it now where we focus on just this piece of it, keep the lower body locked in, and we'll go split grip. Same idea, about belt high, okay? About line with the front foot, maybe a little deep there. And then we'll hinge down, turn, rotate through, okay? For me, I really like this drill finishing with the end of the bat to center field. So we're focusing on staying more inside and directionally through the middle of the field with our with our path, instead of burying that, that left arm and this top hand ripping over, okay? So one more time with that. Split hands, hinge down, turn through. Okay. Can I call you Rose? John, they say their plan is to hit a home run. <laughs> I hope they wore their rib gate, their rib guard. Oh. Oh, scared. I'm gonna like stand on the plate so I bail out into the center. <laughs> <laughs> hey, pick up! <laughs> How to look in there, Aaron. Now you need to be closer. 
got great stuff. Um, you know, I slept in today. <laughs> I've been playing a lot of video games. I come in here and I lose. Are you playing Pretty the show though? Fight. The show? No. Neither, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll play the show. No. <laughs> Watching catchers call these pitches, especially especially Johnny. Or like college guys too. Like I got a new college guy. He was like, "Wait, hold on. How do you make a hundred go past?" I said, "Fine. He's like, call, but call it. Like pull the trigger." <laughs> no, I decided. Just like, know it's a country. Get those. That's disgusting. I know I was looking up and then I swung down. <laughs> Interesting, Dustin. I think that I will never jump on the mound and throw 180 pitches, regardless of how much I like the hitters and how much I like baseball. That looks exhausting. Yeah.